You are listening to a free version of Majority Report with Sam Steeter. To support the show and get another 15 minutes of daily program, go to majority.fm, please. The Majority Report with Sam Steeter. It is Tuesday. May 19th, 2020. My name is Sam Cedar. This is the five-time award-winning Majority Report. We are broadcasting live steps from the industrially ravaged Gowanus Canal in the heartland of America. Downtown Brooklyn, USA. We're actually steps and steps. Well, you know the deal. On the program today, Greg Gonzalez. Assistant Professor of Epidemiology and Microbial Microbial Diseases at Yale School of Public Health. What will the summer look like? Meanwhile, Trump's firing of the State Department IG halted an investigation into possible illegal Saudi arms sales. Florida reopens and closes their data. Meanwhile... China may lock down 100 million people again. Trump administration to short America 40,000 frontline coronavirus workers to save retirement and education benefits. Trump claims he's on hydroxy. No one believes him. Biden says he'll yank Keystone XL pipeline permit. Israel looking for U.S. approval of West Bank annexation for fear that Joe Biden might win in November. Official hearing has been requested to fight Barr's Flynn's charge quashing. A Republican pact to dump $10 million in Montana as the GOP fears a Senate loss. And Republicans are now claiming they're going to hold an in-person convention. All this and more on today's program, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Welcome to the program. Glad you could join us. Um, Got a lot to get through today. Um, uh, Just a little bit of house cleaning. well, I, at the end of the show yesterday, again, uh, we got involved in the conversation of people calling in to tell me that they can't vote for Joe Biden. And uh, I just, you know, it, it, that's all well and good. If you want to call in and say that you don't want to jo- vote for Joe Biden, don't tell me you don't want to vote for him because he's a bad person. OK, I, I, I may or may not agree with you. I don't care. If you want to call in and tell me that you have a strategy as to why voting or not voting for Joe Biden, voting for somebody else, and I'm talking about in a potential swing state. If you're in a blue state or a red state, there's no there there is no strategy involved in it. So you can vote, you know, you vote as you vote. And and look, and I'll be clear, you can vote any way you want. You don't have to call in either. <laughs> I just want to be clear. I'm not your dad. Um, and, and frankly, my kids don't listen to me either. But call in with a strategy. If you can make an, a, a, a case that people are going to be better off with uh, Donald Trump in office, make the case. I get that there's some people who, from an emotional standpoint, can't bring themselves to do it. I have an opinion on that, but whatever. And I will say this. If you email me and tell me that you're going to quit the membership or stop listening to the show because of something I say, I'm going to make it clear to you now. I'm going to save you your email. Like, I don't care. I will, if I had the ability, to prevent your IP from listening when people say that. That is the only way that I will, it's really the only thing that really genuinely annoys me is not that you're actually leaving the the show. 
That's fine. Uh, it's that you think that that makes a difference. Like that I do this, you know, uh, that, 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 that would make a difference. Um, and, you know, the idea, again, that there are no people who support Joe Biden or that would there are no people who would be upset. I just want to make it clear. Because some, somebody had emailed me and said that, like, uh, because it was um, uh, 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 who was it from Vegas that called in? Uh, Broflamingo. Yeah, Broflamingo from Las Vegas. Like, how could you, um, you know, make that argument with a black person? And I'm like, and I, and I, I, and I want to be clear, Broflamingo was not making, was not, it did not have an issue with me pushing back uh, because of his color. But I will say this, Biden won 58% of the black vote on Super Tuesday. He won 61% of the black vote in South Carolina. He won um, a two-thirds of the black vote in Michigan. He won even higher margins among African Americans in Arizona, Florida, and Illinois. And so I have no problem with Joe Biden uh, announcing that he's, you know, not going to seek the nomination anymore. I would be ecstatic, to be honest with you. Um, I would encourage people to where, when primaries are coming up, to vote for Bernie Sanders. But the idea that the votes of the most consistently voting Democratic voting bloc are irrelevant because they're just listening to James Clyburn, and maybe they were. I don't know. I don't know what makes people vote for anything. But that they that their vote they they'd be perfectly willing to say like oh okay somebody else decides that um, that Joe Biden shouldn't be the nominee then I'm okay with that I think is just I think is wrong and if you don't want to listen to the show because I say that this is what you should do not listen to the show and we I mean is that is that obvious um. All right, I just needed to uh, get that off my chest um, because it's I, I, I don't even want to get into these, uh, you know, these debates. I, I really don't. I just I, I find them tiresome. But we had like three callers who called in uh, about that. And it was I just it it gets annoying after a while. I mean, I, I, I think we have said it ad nauseum. I certainly don't need anybody to tell me uh, how bad Joe Biden is. I've been talking about how bad Joe Biden is. Uh, since before both my kids were alive. Now, uh, the one thing that helps me calm down, though, um, after uh, a situation like that, Sunset Lake CBD. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, they're sponsoring the program all this week. They are located in Alberg, Vermont, just outside of Burlington. Uh, they are they're originally one of the dairy farms for Ben & Jerry's ice cream. They decided to diversify their farm, start growing hemp. They have, they have great business practices, pesticide-free. They use organic fertilizer. Their minimum wage is $15 an hour. The employees own a majority of the company. They've got all sorts of CBD products. Um, for me, I am very much down with the tincture. I, do, I have the uh, 750 um, milligrams. I take a dropper. I sleep like a baby, but they have smokables like this. Matt can talk about those in a moment, but if you don't like to smoke, uh, they have gummies too, which I'm going to hit up on their, um, and they also have uh, salves um, for muscles and joints, and uh, it all smells amazing. They have a, 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 a coffee that is a dark roast infused with CBD from the 2019 harvest. Uh, you got to check this out. You can go to sunsetlakecbd.com. Matt, uh, just get, put a plug for the smokables uh, since you're the expert. 
Uh, yeah, I guess I, I'm the expert. Uh, smokables are very good. I was skeptical of CBD, uh, but this is, I think, maybe because of the process they use. It's very uh, yeah, pesticide-free, farmer-owned. Um, very good stuff. Uh, I enjoy smoking it. It's nice uh, before bed, actually, if you have. So even if you smoke other things that might make you paranoid, this won't do that uh, nearly as much. It'll just make you a bit more sleepy. It just gives you the sort of the physical feelings more than the psychoactive feelings, correct? Exactly, yeah. That's how you describe it? Yeah. I, I mean, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, it's sunsetlakecbd.com. Uh, if you use the coupon code left is best, one word, left is best, and those are three words, but you put them together, left is best, you get 20% off anything on the site. So check it out. It is sunsetlakecbd.com. All right. Uh, Speaking of uh, taking things that are apparently really calming, Donald Trump uh, announces that he has decided that, you know, apparently he's taking um, prophylactic hydroxychloroquine. Uh, I didn't know that it was prescribed as a prophylactic, but let's listen. And a lot of good things have come out about the hydroxy. A lot of good things have come out. And you'd be surprised at how many people are taking it, especially the frontline workers, before you catch it. The frontline workers, many, many are taking it. I happen to be taking it. I happen to be taking it. Hydroxychloroquine? I'm taking it. Hydroxychloroquine. Right now, yeah. Yeah, A couple of weeks ago, I started taking it. Because I think it's good. I've heard a lot of good stories. And if it's not good, I'll tell you right. I'm not going to get hurt by it. It's been around for 40 years for malaria, for lupus, for other things. I take it. Frontline workers take it. A lot of doctors take it. Excuse me. A lot of doctors take it. I take it. Now, I hope to not be able to take it soon because, you know, I hope they come up with some answer. But I think people should be allowed to. I got a letter from a doctor the other day from Westchester, New York, around the area. I I read all my letters. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. He's announcing that he's taking this. Now, the weird thing about it is uh, that they released a letter from his physician. And I'm going to read it right now. As has been previously reported two weeks ago, one of President's support staff tested positive for COVID-19. Okay, that's uh, true. The president is in very good health. All right and has remained symptom-free. He receives regular COVID-19 testing, all negative to date. Okay, this is, um, the subject line on this, incidentally, was hydroxychloroquine. After numerous discussions, he and I, regarding the evidence for and against the use of hydro, hydroxychloroquine, we concluded the potential benefit from treatment outweighed the relative risks. Okay, we could have that conversation too. In conclusion, with our interagency partners and subject matter experts around the country, I continue to monitor the myriad of studies investigating potential COVID-19 therapies, and I anticipate employing the same shared medical decision-making based on the evidence at hand in the future. In other words, uh, I'm not going to sign a document that says you're you're taking it. I think that's what that uh, letter from the president's uh, physician says. There you go. Uh, Meanwhile, folks couple of advertisements and then we will um, we will get to our guest as you know sometimes very difficult to find time to read particularly if you have children or if you're a busy person i guess i mean i have no idea what that means if you don't have a ch- children what it means to be busy but uh there's an incredible app called blinkist i've talked to you about it before great way of learning new things getting ahead rounding out some of your um your knowledge base Blinkist takes the best key takeaways, the need-to-know information from thousands of nonfiction books. They condense them down into 15 minutes. You can listen to them. You can read them. You can uh, watch on your, uh, I'm sorry, you can listen on your uh, phone. You can listen on your iPad, your web browser. It's made for busy people who want the main points of a book quickly. They make it easy to finish a book during whatever, your commute. I don't know if people are commuting these days, but uh, you know, I don't know, before you go to bed, uh, before you have breakfast, as you're working out, whatever it is. Um, 
for me, it's been a lifesaver in terms of rounding out and basically books that I don't really want to invest the, the, the time in. Because I feel like, you know, 